my superstar panel are back with me. Sarah Vine, who, who's your nominee for your greatest Britain today? It's the Queen, obviously. Yes, just, and it was great to see her smiling, and she's wasn't better. it? Hooray! Woo. I know, and it just proves. If she can recover from COVID, although she is fighting fit, isn't she, in so many ways, yeah. but it, it, we don't need to be so paranoid about it anymore. Dominique, your nominee. Mine is the Shadow Equalities Minister, Annalise Dodds, for refusing to actually define what a woman is on International Women's Day. Oh, is, is that your greatest Britain? Oh, yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> the Jackass. Oh. J.K. Rowling, I thought it was going to oh, be. Oh, yeah, because someone printed it wrong on the paper. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's J.K. Bad Rowling. For, for I was going to say, Dominic, have you just done a total 180 on your political so beliefs? Sorry. It's My the goodness. first time I've made a mistake like this. I apologise. Yeah. But yeah, J.K. Rowling for calling out Annalise Dodds. She's a badass. And Amy Nicole. Uh, my, we're doing great as Britain. <laughs> yeah. yes. Absolutely. Is uh, the campaigner Sarah LeBrock, who is um, campaigning to have obesity recognised as the disease that it is um, a chronic disease that is also prone to relapses. Fight the stigma that. We well, I, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with J.K. Yeah. Rowling because I thought the way that she called out Annalise Dodds this week for her ridiculous answer, refusing to even define what a woman was, was just absolutely brilliant. She's completely fearless, J.K. Rowling, and the great thing is she is uncancellable. Yep.